though. Gordo just opens up so many things in that matchup, makes it very difficult for Bowser. So now we're going to get Itzan versus LaFoe, Marth versus Lucas. There's going to be a lot of. Uh, I anticipate this being a, a slow, methodical game from both players. Yeah. Um, Look, they both walk to start the game. Like, that just shows a little bit of mood for this cross up. Yeah, the cross up, but Itzan anticipates it. Side B, doing some work for Marth. I wonder, we're going to see a lot of Zare, I feel, from. Um, with a lot of Zare and PK fires, just because Marth doesn't have the own spacing tools or the speed to catch up. Like yeah, I mean, in terms of zoning, those are those are Lucas's biggest tools, not just in general, oh. but <laughs> specifically for the matchup and the mix up there with the, the down B catches him with the active hitbox. Just a, just a little bit of disrespect there. Oh, I don't think he has that. That oh, he, he kept his jump, but now he doesn't have it though. What's he gonna do? Oh, okay, Marth's recovery is pretty good. At least at the ledge. Landing might be a different story if LaFoe can get him back up into the air. Great Zare there. And it's we're on, at that we're yeah. at the percent for the grabs now. We're going to see if LaFoe can maybe... Wow. Most of the time against Marth, you, or against Ness, you could disable the hitbox of PK1. But Lucas, you know, I'm just like, nah, going to live for a bit. <laughs> oh, that's not a safe Zare. It's on. It's going to get a little bit of damage off that. Catches him with a pivot up tilt. The great stuff there. Oh. Ooh, misses the opportunity at the ledge to get the grab. On kind of backing off. He knows he's going to have to rely on his tips now. Oh, F Smash comes out. Doesn't connect for LaFlow. Oh, no oh. turn, Brad. wonder if up tilt's going to pre kill at this percent for Lucas. Uh, I think it's actually very close. Um, I'm not sure if it'll kill right now, but I think with a little bit of rage or a little bit of extra damage on it's on, it could definitely kill. Oh. Nice. He waited so oh, long. Oh, my goodness, and that's an up throw. Catches him with the leg tripping. Lucas's down tilt's kind of ridiculous. Low, it's, it's, low you can leg. combo. You can get like down tilt like times three for free, basically. Mm -hmm. I like the patience on the recoveries here from both players. They're like both kind of waiting, waiting out the options, seeing how far they drift, and all now and now we're getting another grab. It's on. Just takes a fair. He has to get this stock soon before Lucas gets more. Yeah, I like the option there from uh, LaFoe just opting for the fair just because of his rage. There's there's no way anything else was going to connect uh, yeah. effectively at that percent. So fair just a nice extra damage. He, he had the lead, so good option there. Optimal approach. That, that was a pretty ballsy approach, actually. There's a lot of things it's on could have done to kind of stunt that, but anticipated that, that it's on is getting a little bit, uh, a little bit passive here. And it's so weird because... Lucas's fair is very safe on shield a lot of the time, and a lot of what Mars like to do, especially like it's on sweaty lemons. If you touch their shield, they're gonna side B you out of shield, yeah. out of turn around. But you can't really do that because Lucas's jab is, and fair are so good together. But it's on getting a bit more stage immediately gets knocked out of it. Oh, grab yeah, is this grab it? Up. Not quite. How is he gonna land? Nice. I actually wonder if uh, it's on is actually out of uh, down throw up air percent. Uh, I can imagine so, considering the rage on Lucas now. But that just means we're closer to yeah. Lucas's back throw and either grabs killing. All right, good down air. Er, yeah, good down smash just to cover the ledge, get up, try to get the two frame. Doesn't connect, but sometimes you just gotta try. Ooh, Ooh the dash attack though is gonna cost Lafo. Doesn't manage to catch anything there. Side B comes out. Not gonna kill quite yet, but he's looking for that tether recovery there. This is dangerous for both players now. Some good tips, a jab into any tipper, side B, up tipped upwards Ooh. from anywhere on the stage. Oh, there's air. Nice. And the fair comes out, and that's going to be a stock. So LaFoe taking it very slowly. It's on. wonder how he's going to adapt here. He's He was already playing a little bit like, let's wait a little bit longer, yeah. kind of go in, and just kind of jab confirms a bit. He was playing with jab a lot by the end of that. So I wonder... Jab over side B too, I think. Just a little more range on it. Yeah. Hmm. That's that's kind of the thing is that uh, it's has definitely been looking to minimize those opportunities for uh, Lafo to run away with an advantage. Uh, he, Lucas is one of those characters that can really ride out a disadvantage state. Yeah. Just wait a bit longer, and now we start with the grab combos yeah. on battlefield. This can lead to a lot. Itzan makes it back. Yeah, I think what Itzan was kind of just looking for from this stage pick was a little bit more space to operate. Mm -hmm. uh, he was he 
well, the thing with Lucas is when when you're limited in, in where you can go, it gives him a lot more opportunities to try to catch you. And you know, even though also you have to consider on this stage, Lucas gets a lot from the the platforms as we saw earlier yeah. in the stock. But at least when Lucas gets to grab. But if you if we go by the monikers, you can camp Lucas out pretty well on this stage. Especially, you can kind of get your circle camp going, and all you really can do is maybe try to shield poke Nair gonna see if he kind of gets to that around this percent actually because of grabs being a, such a threat but he still has to have more of a lead i think before he gets into it Ooh, okay unsafe fair on shield there good di yeah but i'm gonna see it's on never approach to ledge right now because back throw is going to be very threatening from lucas Ooh, okay dash attack is going to come out we got it's on off stage I think he's going to be fine. I don't think LaFoe's been going for as many like, interrupts on Marcel B. Up air, though. That DI wasn't anticipating the up air to come out. You usually don't think about that with Lucas. His oh, up yeah. air is a lot smaller than Ness's, so you don't think of, oh, I can air dodge here, but the up air. Wow, Lucas's jab is so good. Yeah, I wasn't able to connect with the dancing blade, so LaFoe with that jab, just going to grab a little bit of extra percent. It's on at the ledge. Manages to get an uh, up tilt, actually. I was expecting Nair to connect there, but got a little bit of damage. LaFoe's responding quite well. And look at this. It's on... He hasn't... This hasn't been turning out like the first dock. He's getting some position, probably because of... Uh, partly because of LaFoe's Oh He's my edge. goodness! Not dead, and Lucas is going to live. All right, good low recovery there from Loaf. Whoa. Yeah. Any and higher? Oh, combos. So, okay. All right. Oh, the flow in a bad spot off the ledge. We could see a fair, basically anything, including up smash, can come out there. Yeah. That's gonna be Lafoe's stock. Misses the ledge. Still. I think if I was Lafo, I'd be okay with that for this stock. He got 46%. He's been winning neutral most of the time here. And honestly, as long as he avoids more side Bs, doesn't get off stage too often, I think he's going to be fine. He's been landing perfectly well, and now we start oh, wow. with combos. Great near into fair there. Just caught, uh, caught it's on with the landing. Went for the grab, but it's on rolled right as soon as he touched the stage. Went for a cross up. Cross-up being Lucas, one of Lucas's greatest tools, and finally calls out the jump with PK Fire. Oh, that's one of those moments you're thinking, Thundercats? <laughs> is he gonna, he's gonna go for it? I think, uh, I think actually LaFoe could be a little bit... Oh, okay, that F-Smash with the with the raw shield knockback was able to get him out of any punish there with the up B. That could have put him in a bad spot off the stage, too, especially because Marth, you know, can get back pretty fast from that. Oh, <laughs> okay. Both of you just spacing. When you're both disjoints hit each other and you're like, uh, something should have hit. <laughs> I actually think, uh, I think Lefou will probably have another opportunity where he can be a little bit more aggressive because it's on has been <gasps> oh, okay off the ledge. Doesn't connect anything, but good avoidance. Oh, what's we're gonna oh, see? We're gonna see. That's not, not quite good DI. Um, <laughs> the fair trade though, still. This percent, it's on does not want this. Any grab now? Oh, <laughs> the F smash doesn't connect. The air comes out. Oh, both players in a dangerous spot. Martha's so dangerous right it's now. It's on at the ledge, trying to edge guard this man. Nothing connects. <gasps> the shield break comes hit. out of the up there. Oh, that's, and that's gonna take a stock, and we got LaFour with a pop off. That's gonna be the game. This man is excited out of his mind. Considering how well It's on has been doing for the past, like it seems like forever, It's on's just improving. That that's a well-deserved pop off from LaFour. And honestly, that matchup does not look that great for Lucas. So no, I mean good he, stuff. He 